Wave Packets is a complex function or contour generator that can operate as an envelope, LFO, or audio rate oscillator. It's a really interesting module that can create these funky, swingy, rhythmically related timbral modulations of other modules, or it could be a pretty wild and deep oscillator in its own right. So going from top to bottom, we've got uh, contour stage time controls at the top here. Um, if you're familiar with, um, if I, I just say it's the cycling. So we've got five stages and the knobs determine the length of each stage of the contour. So you can see stage one is super quick, stage two is a bit slower and stage four is very long. Beneath it, we got the contour shape. These determine the different levels of each stage of the contour. For example, if you wanted like a kind of a normal envelope style shape, you could do that. It'll go real. So this is the uh, contour generation section. Down here, we've got the uh, oscillator section. Um, so these three knobs control the rate or pitch of the oscillator in the module. Um, but what's cool is that we've got three stages of this. So as the contour moves from stages one to five, as it transitions over two, three, and four, two, three, four, um, we get to set different target frequencies for those stages. So if you look at the LFO light at the bottom here and the contour lights at the top, um, as the contour moves through the various stages, these uh, frequencies are kind of like the targets of those stages. So we can say, if I slow down stage one and have a slow LFO, then in the middle, I have a really fast LFO. And then at the end, we'll have a really slow LFO again. You can watch this as the as the contour moves through the stages, the LFO shape changes like this. Slow, fast, slow. Or you can do it the other way around, so you can go fast, slow, fast. And then What's quite cool is that you can say, uh, okay, well, the middle stages are going to be really long, but the end stages are going to be really quick. So we can have quick bursts of speed. So you can really create a, a very animated LFO out of this. Down the bottom, you've got a, a glide control. So this interpolates between the different levels of the stages. And then you've got a waveform output here. So you can go from sine all the way down to pulse at the end. So let's have a listen to it. We've got um, the Humble Audio Quad Operate here, which is a module that just loves to be modulated. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show the LFO output and I'm going to put it into Operator 1. If you want to know more about this module, I've got a video of this as well. So if I just take the first operator, so let's pretend this is just a four oscillator synthesizer, right? So we've got oscillators one to four here. So what we're listening to is just a sine wave coming out of uh, the first operator in this module. What you can do is you can use these gain inputs to control the volume or level of, of the, the four oscillators on here. So I'm just going to take the pure LFO output and put it into gain one. So you can see if you follow the LFO light here and the level light here, they they, they sync up, they're the same. So you can control, change these shapes here. Let's have it quick at the end. And you can see because this glide is set to maximum, it's going to interpolate between the values. And if I slow it down, it should be a little quicker. Yes, yeah, so it's instant, but you get a nice build up of speed when you increase this a bit. So you can get this really nicely animated uh, LFOs out of this very, very easily. Let's take the contour out. So what you got going on here is all these levels are up maximum. So when it goes to stages uh, one and five, you can't see stage five here, you can only see four. But stages one and five are zero, so it's gonna go on, and then it's gonna go off to zero, back to zero, on, off to zero, back to zero. But if I change these levels here, or if I decrease the middle one, 
So I go zero, on, off, on, zero. Let's speed these up a bit. Let's bring in another oscillator. So we've got the LFO section coming out. Let's go into the oscillator one and let's put in oscillator two. So now what we're hearing is the contour, the envelope, that's controlling the first oscillator and then the LFO oscillator section, which is related to the times and stages of the contour, uh, controlling LFO2. So you can see how you've got these two rhythmically related CV outputs. Let's pull it out a bit further. Let's take a, let's bring oscillator 3 into it. Yeah, here we go. And what's also fun is that you can clock this. And let me just put in a clock from PAMS into here, into the sync input. And when I want to press play, this should line up interestingly. And now, once you're clocking it, these uh, knobs uh, are divisions and multiplications of that clock source coming in. This is what I mean by you get these really rhythmically related modulations coming out of this thing. The combination of the contour time settings and the frequency settings within those target stages, uh, clocking it, and you get these morphing, not quite, not quite locked on. Obviously, this changes the output, so you go from very smooth sine waves all the way to saws and if there's one thing about this module I, I, I would like to have in addition I don't know whether you can have it in, as an expander is being able to um, modulate the um, time rates here so for additional CVs so I can so I can CV influence these knob positions would be really interesting because it changes so much You also get these triggers out here, um, which trigger at the end of every cycle. Uh, yeah, so that hi hat's now every time a stage ends, you get a little trigger, or you can get one just at the end of every cycle. This is kind of cool.
The final piece of this puzzle is the audio rate mode, so let's flick this switch here. Uh, so this jam I prepared earlier uh, uses the contour timing and trigger input, which resets the contour to create interestingly swung musical phrases. Um, adjusting the stage times can really transform the feel of a sequence. Uh, I think it's a pretty nice sounding module, it's super clean and the wave morphing sounds really smooth. Um, with some effects, it doesn't take much to make this thing really kind of come to life. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to take the pitch out of the sequencer, put it into the Volt Per Octave input. Then I'm going to take the uh, gate out of the sequencer. And I'm going to put it into the gate input here. Then I'm going to set this to trigger. And then I'm going to feed the sequencer a clock. Turn the drums off. So you can see the uh, contour here is being triggered by the sequencer. Um, so let's have a listen to what that sounds like. So you can hear that little clicking there. So I'm going to put all these um, uh, rate knobs to center, 12 o'clock. All we're hearing is this module right now being controlled by the sequencer. So the envelope and the oscillation. So let's increase the envelope hang time. And let's use this uh, wave morphing here to change the wave sound, the wave shape. So it goes from sine all the way to pulse. Let's take the contour output. So this is just the envelope that's at the top there and let's morph the wave shape using that. So already just on its own, it's a pretty uh, interesting oscillator. So these frequency knobs here, they provide offsets to the frequency. So what we're doing is we're increasing the level of uh, the different stages. Let's it ring out, but then if you also increase the target rate of that stage, you're going to get... So as it's hanging on stage four there, you can hear the pitches going up. So this is going to be overall pitch. And these are the offsets for the different stages. So you get these pretty cool sounds out of it. You're kind of getting like two melodic sequences out of this. You've got the offset on the last stage here. which is uh, kind of re-pitching the sequence on that last stage only. And obviously this is in sync with you know the clock and everything that's going on, as if I bring the drums in. So like with delicate adjustment of these uh, stage timings, you can just get these really unexpected little like rhythmical phrases out of it. Right now we've just we've just been hearing this module on its own. Now I'm going to pass it into a VCA. Uh, or I'll put it into a low pass gate. techno for you. So 
so that's uh, wave packets for you just a real surface level uh, overview of what this thing does I've, I've not really scratched the surface with it to be honest even even after having it for a few weeks it can do some crazy like FM type tones like when you make when you're using it as an audio rate oscillator and you cycle it so that the uh, stage times are like super quick and then you do the offsets and you just get these like crazy crazy tones out of it exploration for days basically uh, it's like while it's initially quite a baffling itself um it's definitely worthy of the absolutely required reading of the fucking manual um I love how rhythmically it behaves with the sync and trigger inputs. Uh, I've used it most as a modulation source, as you can hear, but uh, I'm sure there's a world of sound to discover with just the module just on its own. Yeah, so I'm going to send this test unit back to the devs. Thanks for loaning it out, but I'm definitely going to pick one up uh, when they come back in stock. All right, cheers. 